In this video, I will teach you how to stretch the part of your hamstrings that cross your knee. If you've been sitting, <laughs> chances are this is the aspect of your hamstring that is most shortened. Um, it's really interesting because most systems just stretch the other end, which is the end that's already lengthened. But anytime you're sitting, even while I'm sitting here with my knees bent, anytime your knees are bent, the, this aspect of the hamstrings is in a somewhat of a shortened position. So long periods of time, or especially if you've been a knee locker, these guys are so stressed out. So we're going to be using the Aaron Mattis Active Isolated Stretching for bent knee hamstrings. There are three stretches, three stretches in this series and it just has to do with how you have the rope wrapped. So we're going to start with the neutral and I want you to get a strap and lie down comfortably on your back. And you're going to take the strap underneath the arch of your foot and ideally close to your heel, not close to the ball of the foot, close to the heel is better. If your hamstrings are super short, if having your leg up this height is stressful, is hard for you, then you're gonna keep your other knee bent. That will allow you to have a little bit of a pelvic tilt, just enough to keep from straining your back because this is all about taking care of your back, right? If you can have your other leg down, great. But I'm going to assume that Many of you will be starting with your knee bent. So we're gonna start there. So first under the arch of the foot, close to the heel, your hand is gonna be on the front of your thigh. Shoulder blades down because you're doing something with your arms. Other hand has the strap. You're going to inhale, bend your knee. And if that was easy, whatever position that leg was in, then you're gonna bring your thigh one inch closer to your chest from that. So you have just a little bit of room to challenge yourself. That's how you improve, right? And on the exhale, you're going to use these muscles to straighten your leg and the rope to help with just a couple ounces. One, two. Inhale, bend. And exhale. Use your quads to reciprocally allow the hamstrings to lengthen. So you can see it's pretty obvious this is not a challenge for me. I'm going to go ahead and put my leg down. Um, and on the exhale, I'm going to use my quadricep to straighten my leg. And now I want to go to straighten it. It is a little bit challenging. So I'm going to assist with the strap just a couple ounces. Inhale, bend. And exhale. And you just want to increase your range of motion a little bit each time, being super respectful. If you try to force it more than a couple ounces or hold it too long, chances are it's going to backfire. So when you've done eight or 10 like that, I want you to take the strap and wrap it to the outside of your leg and again, hold it in the opposite hand. The femur, the thigh bone stays steady, but it's going to rotate your lower leg a little bit. And you will be targeting, notice these tendons here? You can feel them. Um, and they cross different aspects. So we will be targeting them one at a time. So inhale, bend your knee and exhale engage the quads and straighten your leg gently assist one two inhale bend and exhale one two inhale bend
So you notice what you felt there. And now you're going to untwist and take the rope the other way to the inside, which is going to mean you're going to switch hands. So now this hand becomes a stabilizer. This hand becomes the rope assist hand. And from there, whatever is easy, you bend your knee, you bring your thigh just a little bit closer to your chest. And on the exhale, again, straighten the leg by using the quadricep. Continue to use the quad while you gently assist. One, two. Inhale, bend your knee. And exhale, straighten your leg. Inhale, bend your knee. And exhale, straighten your leg. Inhale, bend your knee. And exhale, straighten your leg. And as always, be sure to do the other leg. 